What's up, everybody? It's me, Sugar. Hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this beautiful sunset cut crease that I created, that I recreated. I've done it before. So I'm just going to install the picture here. But it wasn't as good as this. So I had to recreate it for you guys. I love this. I love how it turned out. So you guys, I wanted to recreate a look that I've been missing for a while. It's a yellow summery sunset look. So I'm like, let me just do it for YouTube. So we're here, filming a look. I've already done my base, I just haven't contoured and finished all the extra. <laughs> we wanna set a base for eyeshadow and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I tend to go in with a light layer of concealer on my eyes because I've seen when I layer uh, a whole lot of it, my eyeshadow tends to crease so I just like the layer of it just to make a sticky base for the eyeshadow and I know you're gonna gag I do not set my concealer <laughs> on my eyes I know I know I know I know take it in I do not because I've found that if I do set it I tend to work extra hard in blending the eyeshadow but if I don't if you just stick it on it just same time you know but uh, what I've learned about makeup, it's about what you have practiced and proven that it works for you. So that's why people always say practice makeup, practice everything, eyeshadow, eyebrows, until you are legit good. So there goes our base. Now I'm just going to set aside my brushes that I'm going to need. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is this eyeshadow palette from Duke Factories. I do have an shop check them out on Instagram and here in Durban they are by Morningside yeah so I'm just gonna go in with my first transitional color with this big fluffy brush let us go in you see what I was talking about like you don't have to work as hard it just stuck on there I don't know whether it's the stoop factors formula eyeshadow formula or my concealer technique we never know i'm just gonna let that sit on my i want to take a big fluffy brush that is clean and just blend it outward on top i just don't want it to sit there like a big block off <laughs> that's my sister misbehaving guys <laughs> Blend it out, blend it out because I just don't want it to be a harsh color that's just there on my I don't know, crease. Yeah. Then we're gonna go in on the other side, do the same thing. When you want a perfect eyeshadow, do the same thing that you did on the other side. Always close your eyes, look. Oh, is it the same? Oh no, it's not the same. A, a, per, a bit of the side is a bit short, then you go in again and just fix it until they look more or less the same that's the only way i think i've been able to practice uh putting on eyeshadow and you know i'm not the best but with makeup you just take what you can do and practice it it out again that's all we are doing a um, yellow summery sunset look okay I can look in that big mirror because the small one is a bit disturbing right now okay because this eyeshadow is big and I don't want it to fall on my lap I'm taking a brown light brown color I just to spread it blend out that eyeshadow on top so today I'm gonna to be trying the uh, fluffy fluffy natural <laughs> eyebrows I've seen KM's doing them I just want to try it out because I don't like my eyebrows guys if there's one thing I don't know how to do with makeup is my own eyebrows with other people I'm good and other clients I'm good but for me, it's like, I don't know, we had war with my eyebrows. And I'm not winning that war. 
I used to be able to do them well when I used to do them every day. You know, when you do something every day, you tend to master it a little bit. But now I don't do my eyebrows every day and I don't wear my makeup every day because it's exhausting and it's hot and it's. I'm just not one of those people who still stay with makeup the whole day. Like, if I go with makeup wherever I'm going and I come back, I'm washing it off. I'm done with it. <laughs> I don't care how pretty it is. If there's a photo of it, it is recorded. Take it off. So, we are done with our trend. It's not trend for us now. Holla. We're going to go in with a more smaller tapered eyeshadow brush with a deeper burgundy orange color let me just show you guys sometimes i can't say transitional forgive me guys when this eyeshadow fell i almost lost it i'm gonna go in with this oh no that's purple sugar okay let's just double i'm gonna go in with this deeper i'm not sure what color but it's yeah i'm gonna mix it with this one because like i want i want the orange so I'm going to stick together. I'm just going to go into my crease directly. Uh, you know when you go in with your brush like this, directly on that spot. I'm just going to tighten that a little bit. And the outer V. Just pack it on there. Oh, it shows up nice on me. Quite nice. Ooh. Lovely sugar, lovely. On to the other eye again. Guys, if you have hooded eyes and you love eyeshadow, please open a support group for me. And you. I'm going to struggle as well, guys. Like, the one thing I love about makeup is eyeshadow. Like, the one thing I would say that inspires me to even wake up and do my face is a look that I want to do on my eyes but since now these hooded eyes are like we have this story for me but well, we're gonna continue keep on keeping on that's what life is about keep on keeping on anyways blend that out again I do want to darken the crease not the crease now the outer V and a little bit of the crease because I'm gonna do the yellow as a cut crease so let's do that right now with a smaller, more tapered blending brush. I'm just gonna go in with the darkest color I can find here a brown. Yeah, let's take a brown. This brown. See how it shows up. Yeah. I'm just gonna pack the fear firstly, darken that one, then move it in the crease. Into the crease. Go in again. I just tapped it in a bit of a black. I shadow that here. Yeah, that's how I do eyeshadow, guys. I just mix colors like that. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely it the way I want it. Sometimes I can't speak English, guys. Forgive me. Sometimes just English escapes my mind and goes away, it leaves me behind to be embarrassed or whatever. I don't care. English is not my mother. It's not my mother. Okay, let's do that on the other side. You see how lovely it glides on with the other colors. Okay, I darken the side a little bit. I was looking at the can and not the mirror. Sugar, what is wrong with you? Okay, now I gotta blend that out. Don't make it too harsh. Come on. The nice thing about this uh, dupe that is uh, uh, the eyeshadow formula. <gasps> so nice. So nice. Like, very workable. You can work. So, okay. I feel like now I'm advertising them. Let me shut up. But, anyways, I like them. Should darken it a bit further up because the crease will just 
when I put on the concealer to create the cut crease it will just go over the whole thing so we we're just gonna go up a little bit because God was like oh sugar good at eyes will look good on you and also you would love makeup and it look good on makeup not really good no you sometimes you guys feel like before you were made I know the Bible says we were wonderfully and fearfully made uh, that we were made with such precious love that God was afraid to make a mistake I think that's what the interpretation of it is but do you feel sometimes like before God created something in your body you're like can we just have a meeting <laughs> about this so we could discuss exactly what why like why would you want me to have hooded eyes if I'm gonna have a career in makeup just tell me that Lord you know how do you make it work but I'm very appreciative of every feature that I have I used to have such insecurities about everything on my body my thighs my knees my tummy my face the shape of my face i used to think my face i have a man's face or not face head like i have men's head, like a big head i used to have insecurities about everything but uh, as you grow older you get over them trust me you do you get over them you know uh, maybe just somebody say no i love my body i love my body i'm very much happy yeah i'm in a happy relationship with my body so this eyebrows come out perfectly or oh, I'm asking can you use soft glasses look at but she does have a tutorial so I'll just refer until until I'm able to I feel like the orange ran away from us a little bit let me just fill in with it a little bit because if it's a sunset look we are gonna need orange you know Orange. Okay, I think it, we need to kind of increase my sugar. Come on. So a lot of you, I'm sure, are asking yourselves, why is your name Sugar? <laughs> so the story is, I will let you know in my story time. <laughs> I'm joking. I think I want to do um. But I've been wanting to do, I've seen a lot of, guys, okay, sorry, I don't know how to speak. That's just me. I go in, out, go, I don't like that when I speak. So I've been seeing a lot of people when they start up YouTube channels, they start up uh, doing a QA. and a And I didn't want to do that because I felt like, why am I doing a QA and a to people that really are just starting to know me? Let me just showcase. Uh, I know it makes sense because you want people to get to know who you are and what you are about and what your channel will be about but I was like I am sugar and company makeup artistry and makeup is my passion let me just showcase what I'm passionate about first let me just let people get to know that sugar before you know anything else so I thought I thought let me just do makeup tutorials until Maybe you guys request the get to know me, maybe request um a story, you know those cut out crease. Oh my goodness. You see, you see what I was saying that we should push up the brown even further because when I do this, this is where we should cut our crease, Lord Almighty. Oh Jesus, and I have to go up all oh my work today. Done. So this crease can be cut exactly where it should be cut. Just wanna pat that in so that it just doesn't become a flick. There you go. I'm just gonna go in with that. Brush that out. 
that have the brown to deepen just to okay that's it there. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the small concealer brush to deepen uh no not deepen further define the crease line because it disappeared a little bit when we were cutting our crease because again it's hopelessly wooded I'm just gonna go on top of it with the brown eyeshadow take this brush and, and pack on the yellow on our cut crease now you guys know yellow can be a bit patchy so I'm just gonna do it until it is visible in the naked eye <laughs> Beauty Treats Yellow Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm gonna go into this until midnight. No, true enough. I'm done. I can't see it here. Now that that is on, let me show you if I want to do a wing liner. Should I do a wing liner? Yes, uh, no. Nothing's ever complete without a wing liner. on a bit thick but it's all right it's all right now ladies and gentlemen let's finish up on a black eyeliner i'm gonna go in with a brown one just to deepen the my bottom lash line I should go in with the shimmer eyeshadow just to open up my eyes here in my inner corner. My tear duct, I mean. I'm not sure how it will look, I just want to see it. Mm. Not sure. Let me blend that out. Eh? Just to wipe this off. I feel like it's too harsh, but I want the yellow to be there. Main collector. The collector is the yellow here. I'm just gonna contour my face.
some blush bring back rosiness I never used to like blush until now it just makes you blush <laughs> it just has this nice color to it it brings you see that oh I look cute or whatever If you find your highlight a bit too harsh, you can just go in with your blush brush and just blend that out. Sort of like mix the two together so that one cannot be harsh. The highlight again, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, blush brush. I just want to brighten my under eyes and I feel like they're just disappearing on me. Uh, I've seen this with a lot of YouTubers. Uh, they go in with a compact I'm just gonna try this color on my going with a more more powder underneath the eyes to brighten yeah under eyes up how does that look what can you see the difference what is going on oh my word I'm never living this trick again what hi how are you now I come to life. Oh my god. Wow. Beyond belief. I am shook. I always used to see them do it, but I was like, you've already brightened your. Oh my god. Yeah. Let me just clean up my jawline. Just feel like if I don't clean it up, it looks like my whole cheek is contoured you know and we're not trying to go for that look and the cars now decide to go past and pass working guys i'm working oh now let's go do finish off the eyes with lash mm -hmm. Jesus, but I'm not mess this eye up, okay? Stick it in the middle, stick it in the end, stick it in the front. Mesh the two together. Lash on. I almost forgot to wipe this off. Like, <laughs> oh Lord Almighty. Oh, that's better. More chiseled. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, let's do the lips. Then we are done with this look. Then we are on to the slow moves. Hey. Where have I seen that? Okay, I'm just going to do a simple. I'm gonna brown my lips, like line my lips a little bit, like so. I'm just gonna toss gloss on it. Done. Ooh. Ain't that gay? That is so beautiful. I love this combo. I used to do this in high school. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. Ooh, yeah.
comment down below if you want me to do any other looks and also leave me a big thumbs up if you're really loving this look i really loved creating it for you guys and also subscribe to my channel for more looks and looks and looks yeah i will see you guys in my next look bye bye